Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Addict. Today I am reviewing the Quantix F35 Control. If you haven't heard of Quantix, they're another direct-to-consumer golf ball. Just came on the market this year, actually, in 2020, so they're brand new to the market. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think they only have like 400 followers on Instagram, so they're very new. But they promise that they can actually have a tour golf ball at a direct-to-consumer price. Um, that can go up against toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Pro V1. So it's a great time to be a buyer of golf balls, to be in the golf ball game, because um, there's all these companies offering tour quality balls at lower prices. But with companies like this, the big question is, can you trust them? So Quantix actually offers two golf balls. They offer the F35 Control, which is this one. They advertise it as more of their amateur ball or you know the, the beginner's ball. Um, and then they also offer the F18 Tour, which of course is their more tour quality golf ball to go up against, you know, as far as your, your Callaway Chrome Soft or your Pro V1, your TP5, things like that. Um, I will have the F18 review coming soon, but for now I wanted to start out with this one because the majority of people who play, you know, 90% don't need a tour ball. They need, you know, more of a, a forgiving ball. And uh, something like this is probably what you would gravitate toward. So as far as Quantix is a golf company, they do come out of uh, Fort Worth, Texas area somewhere in there, and um, they have a very young CEO. You know, it's a guy who's very passionate about business. I believe you know he's around 21 years old. Um, he had a friend in the business who knew someone, and uh, the the guy who's designing the golf balls for him has plenty of experience developing from Maxfly, um, the Tor Ballista ball, I think is what it was from Titleist, um, and he even designed the the ball that Jack Nicklaus won the. Uh, the uh, Masters in 86 in. So he has experience. So basically he was able to take a formula of a good golf ball and apply, you know, business from what he's passionate about to it and hopefully launch a, a good brand. I don't know if it's successful yet because we, that's yet to be seen. But essentially, if you like to support local business, this is about as local as it gets as far as small business. So definitely a bright spot there. I love, you know, supporting the local guys with the underdogs. So uh, if, if it turns out to be a great ball to play, I'll, I'll probably be playing it. All right, so the Quantix F35 Tour starts out, they have $27.99 a dozen, and that does include free shipping, which is a big bonus. A lot of those direct-to-consumer brands out there, such as Call, uh, Cut excuse me, and Vice, do not offer free shipping, so $20 balls turn into $27 balls, and it always makes me mad to have to pay for shipping, especially when it ends up taking two weeks. So free USA shipping, awesome deal there, so $27.99 a dozen. Um, great deal, really, if, if they are as advertised, it's a great deal on the golf balls. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them up to $23.99 a dozen. If you buy five, not as great of a discount as I would have liked to have seen, but it can be good for a consumer who wants to, you know, bulk up. $23.99 a dozen is not bad. All right, so let's talk about the design. You know, pretty basic here. You know, the Quantix logo definitely is unique. I think most people, when they see this ball and they see the logo, are going to think, you know, of a, of a junk ball. If they find it on the course, they're not going to know what it is, and they're probably just going to hit it as a junk ball. Um, it just kind of has that look. That's not a bad thing, but that's just, it's just a, not a well-known brand, and if someone finds it, they're not going to know, you know, that it's a, it's a tour quality golf ball, or it's a, a better than average golf ball. Um, but it's kind of neat, you know, it's got a more of a science-y modern feel to it. It's a block lettering. Um, on the side, it does have, you know, the F35 control with the line. The line is pretty bold, and I, I will admit that um, a lot of them try to do, like, arrow designs and thinner to thinner to, to bulkier on the arrow for alignment. I don't prefer that. I like a more simple like this, and it was easy to line up, and it was easy to putt with, so it definitely stood out. And I even like the font there on the F35 control, too. It's very small but readable. Um, overall, you know, a decent design, nothing really to... I'd like to see them come out with some PIX models. Um, I'd like to see them come out with some different colors. I'm sure that's on the way, but right now it's just available in the, in the basic white. So what does the company claim about this golf ball? Well, um, as far as the F35 Tour, or the F35 Control goes, um, it's a little different than the Tour, obviously. The Tour is the one they say on their website goes, you know, five yards further than the Pro V1. Um, but they do actually claim on their website that after the roll, this does get more distance than a Pro V1, and even more than their F18 Tour. It just doesn't get the carry distance. So 
Um, unfortunately, without having a swing speed of 115, I can't test that too much, um, but I will say that I, I, I did test the roll. That's coming later. Um, but, you know, with those types of numbers, they are claiming that this golf ball essentially is still a tour quality golf ball, but it's just softer and it's more forgiving. It's not going to be able to be shot, sh shot, shaped, uh, shot shaped like those other golf balls. Um, it's going to be forgiving. It's going to, you know, not have as much side spin, and it's going to be uh, a lot softer off the drive as well. So, you know, errant drives won't go as, as far. It'll keep it in the fairway or in the rough, um, which is a good thing for a lot of people. It's a good thing for me. Um, but they do claim it still has those same properties that a lot of tour balls have. So that's a bold claim for $27.99 a dozen. So what are the people saying about this golf ball? User reviews. Well, they've been pretty nice. You know, there's not a ton of them um, on their website. At the time I, I looked, it was probably roughly about 17 or 18 reviews. And it does average, you know, roughly almost a 5 out of 5. And I'm sure that that's control. I'm sure they delete, you know, bad reviews. But honestly, the majority of people say that, you know, they, they switched from a tour quality ball because they want... Um, you know, something a little less expensive to where when they lose it, it's not a big of a deal. That's that's with most budget. That's how I am. Um, so I think when they switched, they didn't really see much of a tour performance based on what they said. And that's kind of the whole goal here. The whole goal here is to get, you know, a tour quality golf ball at a lower price. And the majority of people are giving it a five out of five because of that reason. So um, it seems like, you know, as far as pleasing the consumers, they're off to a good start. All right, so first thing we always do, you know, when we test a golf ball, we always like to go from, you know, the green, obviously, to the driver. You do that because the majority of the time, if you're wanting feel for a golf ball, it's not off the driver. You're, you're wanting feel around the greens and softness off wedges. Um, so I test it with the putter first. It feels very soft. It's a very soft feel. It does feel kind of like a, a, a tour response golf ball or any, like, $30, you know, range golf ball. Um, so it does have a pretty soft feel off the putter. It does have a very minimal click, which, you know, click is nice for feedback, and I was able to get feedback off of the putter, but it does kind of spring off the putter. So it is soft. It does take a little bit more to get it there. It's not, you know, the firm ball effect where you hit it and it rolls forever. Um, so it felt good. It felt good, and, and the fact that it had still enough click, a lot of the time with really soft or budget golf balls, I get they're so soft that when I putt them, I don't get any response as far as where I hit it. This one has just about the least amount of response you can have before becoming too soft. So if you're someone who likes a soft golf ball, uh, the F35 control is, is just that perfect right amount is what it feels like, especially off the putter. And you know that translates over of course to the chipping as well. It's very similar. It has a very minimal click um, to let you know the feedback as far as how you hit it, but it is soft around the greens. There's very minimal roll. It's going to stick to the green very well. I know this golf ball, actually, I didn't mention it before, but it does have, um, it's not a traditional covering that a tour ball would have. It's an iometer blend, and uh, it's actually called a proprietary blend. It's actually something that, as far as I'm concerned, I think only Quantix does, but um, I got to say, it feels really good as far as that goes. As far as being uh, a cheaper blend of, of covering on the golf ball, it feels good and it sticks to the green. So I don't know what they're doing or what they're putting in it, but honestly, it feels great and it is stopping the golf ball. So if you're looking at the stats, you know, just from the website or before you're ordering it and you're worried about that, I had no issues with it. It still stuck every green just fine. And honestly, it, it feels, when you feel them side by side, they actually feel very similar. So I don't know how they've done that, but they've been able to create a, a really good surface and when you're chipping around the green, the ball checks up really well. It feels soft um, off all types of wedges, you know, 54, 56, 60. I didn't have any issues, even uh, even from a little bit different clubs, you know, from, from a little further out, like 15, 20 yards. It's very soft, and when it hits the green, it's not going to roll back very – or it's not going to roll forward very far. So uh, very soft if you like that type of feel around the Uh, from the 50 yard, um, it does get a little firmer. So when you, you know, you start taking a full swing, it definitely, it's not, you know, it's not an iron swing. So it's not, you know, going 70, 80 mile an hour. Um, but the 50 yard pitch shot, it does feel a little bit uh, clickier, but not super clicky. We're not talking, you know, hard, firm, rock, anything like that. We're talking just a little bit more response off of it because, you know, you're only taking like kind of a half swing, um, which is good. It does offer the feedback, you know, immediately how you hit it. There's no, there's no question in my mind about that. And then again, the checkup is fantastic. Um, you know, it, it's it's almost an immediate stop. Um, I was getting roughly probably three or four feet of roll after on a 50-yard pitch, so it's 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 really right where you want to be. Um, on the 60-yard, you know, uh, from 50, I was actually getting a little bit of bounce back. It was hitting, 
and then, you know, maybe once, twice, and then coming back a little bit. So, you know, I use a 60 degree loft a lot of the time from that, from that amount. Um, and I was getting a good amount of spin. I was actually getting spin back, which for a budget ball is really good. So the spin's right there. And I, I think the cover has a lot to do with it. All right, so now just wedges, full blown wedges. Like I said, pretty much a 60 degree, a full blown is gonna get you a little bit of spin back. Um, the 50, I use a 54 degree sand wedge. When I was using that, I was actually getting almost an immediate stop. It would take a couple bounces and just completely stop dead, stuck to the green. Um, love to see that type of feel. Uh, once you hit a full shot on it, it is a little different. Now, I mean, it goes right back to being soft again. There's not a click anymore. You can still feel that little tiny bit in there for feedback. But honestly, when you hit it like that, it's a pretty soft golf ball. It has a great response. It jumps off the club. Um, when I hit it with my gap wedge, again, you know, the gap wedge felt a lot like the sand wedge. It was just a couple bounces and maybe a minimal roll. Pitching wedge, same thing. My, I have, you know, uh, more of a game improvement set of irons. So mine go a little higher than probably what I'm used to or what, you know, someone who plays a, a tour iron will get, but um, it went nowhere. It stuck to the green almost immediately where it, where it stopped. With high irons and mid irons, I did not have an issue at all with it sticking the green. Um, hit a couple five iron. My five iron, I hit roughly about 170 to 180, depending on how, how I swing. Um, it was even able to hold the green at that. So again, no issues with this ball holding the green. Felt good. Um, once you start swinging with a mid iron, like a five iron, you're not gonna feel much click at all. It's a very soft golf ball. You'll still feel that tiny amount of click for feedback, but it's a very soft golf ball at that point. It compresses very well. And uh, I mean, again, jumps off the club. So no issues with those as well. With hybrids, I was actually really impressed because um, usually with hybrids, a lot of the time you swing them so fast that, that when the ball compresses, you just don't feel them. At that point, it goes really soft. I still felt the minimal click with this, which is good because you want that. Again, you want that feedback to show how, how it hits. And if I miss hit off the center, if I miss it off the side, I knew it. I knew it immediately, which is good. Um, a lot of the time, like I said, with budget balls, a lot of the time when they get that soft, it's just like a marshmallow. You hit it and you're not sure if you hit it sideways, if you hit it, you know, if you hit it in the center. Um, so I was impressed. It kept the same compression and consistency is good in the golf ball world. So I was impressed with that. Of course, the driver. Off the driver, you know, do the claims hold up? Now keep in mind, I have an average swing speed. My, my channel is more for the average golfer. I, you know, it's not really someone, I, I don't swing 115 mile an hour. I swing roughly about 95 to 100 on a good day. I drive the ball about 260. Um, with this golf ball, I, I played it right next to a Pro V1. I played two balls at the same time, and um, pretty much about 80% of the time, this ball went a little further. Now, take that with a grain of salt. It only went two or three yards further. We're not talking, you know, 10, 20 yards further, and it's not going to put a, a huge impact on your game. Uh, but, you know, as far as having that average swing speed, you know, I know the Pro V1 technically is the Pro V1X now. They switched a few years ago, but um, maybe I just don't have the swing speed for it. But, you know, this golf ball did 80% of the time go a little bit further. You know, I was getting roughly probably about 255 with this one and 252 with the Pro V1. I mean, it was very minimal, but um, this ball always ended up a little bit further in the fairway. And this golf ball was a little more forgiving. This one actually didn't curve as much on the side. I didn't have much of a side spin. Uh, miss hits didn't go as far left. And that could be because the Pro V1 is a tour ball and it's designed to be able to be shot shaped. Uh, shot shaped. I'm sorry, I cannot say that. Uh, but... Uh, the Quantix with it being a more forgiving ball probably plays in a lot of people's favors and it could play in your favor. Uh, definitely did mine. So I, I, I love the performance off the driver. It does feel very soft. Now I will admit, once you get to hitting it with the driver, there's not much feedback there. It's like hitting a marshmallow. It, it's, it's, and I knew it probably wouldn't. The fact that it made it to the hybrid, I was really impressed with, but uh, off the driver, there's not much response there. It's not super marshmallowy, but it is kind of a, it gets to the point where there's so minimal click. It's going to be hard to tell where you hit it without, without some type of, of uh, spray deodorant on there or something. You're not going to know where you hit it off the club, really, unless you've been playing this game a while and you know. Now, durability is a big, big part of it. Uh, I know, you know, with budget balls, a lot of the time, you know, like the Costco ball suffered from this a few years ago, and uh, there's been other golf balls, the cut golf ball, too. Um, but durability, you know, and when you pay less for a golf ball, is it going to last you the whole round without getting scuffs all over it? That's kind of the big question. Um, the Quantix actually holds up pretty decent. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I've banged it off a few trees. I've banged it off of uh, some cart paths. And, uh, you know, there's a few scratches. There's a few nicks. But honestly, nothing that's going to affect the, the performance of the golf ball. And I've played, you know, probably about three rounds with this golf ball right here in my hands. 
And um, so far, I've not had any issues with it at all. I know at that point, you know, the golf ball kind of loses some of its muster anyway. But honestly, it's still horned well. I mean, it's definitely scratched the paint off of it. But as far as actual, like, chips or rips in the seam, there's none. So that's really good, especially for $27.99 a dozen. Usually that's where you have to sacrifice in a budget ball is, is in the durability. So um, honestly, I'm impressed. It holds up well. It didn't blow me away by any means, but it holds up well. I'm impressed. So overall, um, I would rate the golf ball, you know, it's it's a pretty soft golf ball based on everything I've seen. I would say it's probably a 4 out of 5 on softness. It's not a marshmallow, but it's it's pretty darn soft. It's about as soft as it gets with still having feedback, and it performs really well. They've done a great job with the core to still give you that feedback, and uh, it, it's just very impressive. Um, so as, as far as the value for the price, honestly, um, $27.99 isn't bad, but where I have an issue with this price is there's a lot of golf balls in that range that will have a similar performance, I feel like. You know, the Strixon Q-Star is $32.99 a dozen. Uh, the Super Hots are $29.99 for $15. You know, the Tour Responses from, from TaylorMade are $35 for $12. Um, there's a lot of golf balls in that range, and I don't feel that this price is really gripping enough to detour somebody to try it you know it's a good price on the ball but i mean if we were talking you know a, a high name like strixon or whatever coming out with a ball like this you know i think people would play it no issue but unfortunately if you're trying to get people to come on to your golf ball and it's a not well known 27.99 i don't think is good enough unfortunately especially with the snell ball being you know 33 a dozen and things like that I just don't know if it's going to be enough. And what I would like to see is I would like to see more of a bulk pricing. I know they already do. You know, if you buy five boxes, you get $23.99. But I would really like to see, you know, if you get three boxes, you get them for $20 a piece. You know, I'd like to see that type of pricing because I don't think it's going to detour people away enough. Um, and even me being honest with you, $27.99, I love the golf ball, but I know there's other options out there and I might go with one I trust the name a little bit more so if they want people to actually play this golf ball i think that they're going to have to offer some type of deal or you know bulk pricing that's a little bit better um you know maybe like two dozen for 22 a dozen something like that i, I don't know um but it just needs to be a little less because right now at that price it's not i don't think it's enticing enough we'll just have to see So who is this golf ball for? Well, this golf ball is for someone who wants tour quality performance um, at a much lesser price, at half the price really, $27.99, free shipping. Um, you know, it has a great cover on it. It stops on the green. It really offers performance of any other golf ball out there, especially any other budget, you know, tour golf ball out there. Um, I think they're called value tour, but any other value tour golf ball out there, it offers that performance. Um, at $27.99, you know, and you're supporting a, a local business or a small business, however you want to look at it. Um, so if you're, you're looking for something that doesn't hurt as much when you lose it, um, but also still is very high performing, maybe, you know, gives you a little bit of a, a talking point on the course, these golf balls are great. I can't recommend them enough for that. Overall, guys, the golf ball's great. Um, it's a great company. The customer service is out of this world. You know, like I said, it's, it's a local business. It's a very small business. Um, you know, I messaged the guys on Instagram and they, they immediately messaged back. They were very friendly, helped me with anything. Um, if you'd like to support a business like that, but you still want a great quality golf ball at a lower price, I cannot recommend the F35 Control enough. Um, it's a great golf ball and I'm, I'm going to play them until I lose them. I loved playing with it and I highly recommend you try a sleeve. You can actually get a sleeve on their website for $7.99 for three of them to try them out. And that's a free shipping as well in the USA. And uh, I highly recommend you try them out if, if you're looking for a ball like this. It was, it was a pleasure to play with. It really was. I'm going to be reviewing the F18 uh, Tour, which is their tour quality golf ball, um, here pretty soon. Uh, but for now, you know, thanks for watching and keep watching to keep saving.